so having fun trying to uh, make this work like the backpack and the jump pack to the body is not the issue that's an easy map you know you just put one magnet in his back one in both backpacks and you're good to go the problem lies with the millions of arms now there's literally I mean there's not actually a million but there's a crap ton of options now, even for this one guy when I balanced out the options this is basically what it came to his options are basically every marine is going to get a two-handed bolter with both arms and a set of shoulder pads they are also all going to have a close combat weapon and a bolt pistol because there's exactly five bolters there's exactly five chainsaws and exactly five bolt pistols so all of the marines are going to have some variation of that setup so that's that's one thing but already in like so that means there's going to be two more magnets in his shoulders one there one there and there's going to be two more magnets in each arm one magnet here one magnet there so that this set of arms can just kind of slip on and off but then that also means that there's one two three so one two three four five six seven magnets just for this guy's weapon options and I'm looking at my string of magnets and I'm thinking oh man I don't even I don't even think I can count that many I don't think I have that many because this guy has the least amount of options this guy has same two and a bolter close combat weapon and bolt pistol or close combat weapon and flamer but they also has a bolt pistol and a melta and the commander has thunder hammer pistol close combat weapon flamer and bolt and pistol like the options just keep going and I'm starting to I'm, I'm worrying that I'm worrying that a the magnets that I use for the backpacks these are I want to say these are one eighth magnets yes these are one eighth magnets a I don't think I have enough of them and B I don't think the one eighth magnets are all gonna fit in these arms like I know I could probably put them in the actual body like I can just drill it right into that socket right basically into this little part right where the arm would go to I can put a one eighth in there easy but then what do I do do I just put one eighth magnets in these arms like looking at this guy as an example I don't know if a one eighth magnet can fit in that what would be his actual shoulder so now the question is do I put one eighth magnets in the body and I put one sixteenth magnets in here do I have enough one sixteenth not exactly sure I'm gonna have to do some more counting and see what my my options are so kinda have an idea now uh, I'm thinking that the two one-eighth magnets in his uh, shoulder joints is a good idea uh, the bolters two hand bolters you know one one eighth magnet for each of them that's good too the other thing that I realized is that I don't have enough shoulder pads for each arm option there's exactly enough shoulder pads for there's exactly 20 shoulder pads that means that there's a set of shoulder pads for bolter for one set of bolters and there's a set of shoulder pads for one close combo weapon and one additional arm meaning that each marine now gets four shoulder pads to themselves this guy for example has these two that are already glued to the arms and these two that are going to be attached to the close combat weapon and the bolter and just kind of make to make it a uh, standard all around that's going to be around the board every death company guy is going to have shoulder pads on 
the bolter arms and the close combat arms. Problem being now is that what do I do with the extra options? Like this guy is an example. He's got the close combat weapon and the shoulder pads already glued to the flamer. But then I got a bolt pistol and an inferno pistol. I don't have shoulder pads. So now I'm thinking, do I put the magnets in the shoulders? Or what do I do? Like how do I make it so that all the options can come on and off? Like the, the bolter arm is, is pretty simple as it is. You know, you just put them in the arms, you glue the arms together. You get basically this setup. So I'm gambling on him snapping on and off and it's and you kind of walk away and you're done. Close combat weapon options, there's a lot more for each guy. Like you got the close combat bolt pistol and then he's got a power fist and inferno pistol. Like where where do the magnets go? What do I how do I map this out? You know, that's the next option I'm gonna have to try and figure out.